everybody and welcome to weekly strategic finance tips from the startup station. In this video, we're going to talk about the liquidation preference. Uh, that's a very scary term that recently began to appear in many term sheets. And um, a lot of founders don't really understand what it means. They're afraid of it, but is it always a deal killer or is it something that you can keep in mind? You can uh, figure out how to structure it in a way where uh, it will meet the uh, interests uh, and, uh, of both parties and align those interests as well. So let's talk about first, what is a liquidation preference? It is a clause in a contract that dictates the payout order. So what does it mean? It's a clause that tells uh, everybody how everybody will get paid, right? So if investor has this preference, that investor will get paid first before everybody else. Now, why is it there? Is it there to screw the founder? <laughs> or is it there for some other reason? Of course, it's not there to screw the founder. It is there because early stage investors are worried that they're not going to be able to realize a return on their investment, especially as they get diluted by later rounds, and they want to be guaranteed a certain level of investment for all the risk that they're taking. Now, let's talk about some of the features of those preferences so that as you see those uh, uh, clauses in your term sheet, you can negotiate and you can understand what they say and negotiate for the best deal for you. So um, what are the differences between the participating versus non-participating liquidation preferences, right? So a participating liquidation preference means that an investor will get both a required return of investment as well as um, additional proceeds in proportion to their equity ownership. So really this is not a really good term. It's like double dipping, right? It's getting paid there and it's getting paid here. What's more common is a non-participating preference where you will get either a liquidation preference, which is a minimum return on investment, or you get paid proportionate to your equity proceeds. Of course, here you can choose whichever payout gets you more, but it's still better than the previous option where an investor will get both. Another thing to consider when you, you see liquidation pre uh, preference is a multiple, right? So what does it mean? The multiple is that guaranteed return. So when you see uh, that a VC has a two times liquidation preference, it means that that VC will get to take double their original investment out of the company before anybody else gets paid. So let me give you an example. Let's say that the VC um, put in $1 million for a 10% stake of the company, okay? And uh, let's say that um, the company gets sold for, one, uh, for $10 million, okay? And their liquidation preference is two times. Now, if there wasn't a liquidation preference there and their stake is 10%, right, on the... 10 million exit, they would just get their 1 million back, okay? In that scenario, they put in 1 million, they got 10% and the company exited at 10 million. However, if they have a two times liquidation preference, it would actually mean that they will get 2 million and then the remaining 8 million will get determined based on the remaining equity ownership. And that is how this works, right? That's why those clauses are very advantageous for early stage investors, not so advantageous for investors that come later or the founders, right? And that's why you should really, really look into the term sheet to see what you have there. Uh, the cap can actually help you, right? So the cap limits the amount of capital subject to that liquidation preference so that your list of risk to losing this, you know, upside is limited as well. And finally, um, I wanna talk about seniority, right? So what is the seniority? If you have uh, investors coming in in different rounds, right? How do you, do you determine when they will get paid? So there is a standard seniority where the later you come, the more senior you are. So Series B investors are more senior than Series E investors, they're more senior than seed investors, et cetera. There is a pari passu seniority where everybody has the same seniority 
and then tier it. And tier it is where you do something custom. And that also determines the payout order. So it's important when you're thinking about a liquidation preference. So these are all the main features, and this is how liquidation preference works. And I think, you know, I'm hoping that I give you enough information to uh, evaluate if you have a liquidation preference, what you need to negotiate, what it means for you to really consider an outcome in various financial scenarios so that you understand what it means and so that um, you can potentially change some of the terms to ensure a more favorable outcome. And here you go. Uh, if you like this video, please share with your friends and colleagues on social media. Sign up for our YouTube channel for more strategic finance and financial modeling and other useful tips every day. Join us on Clubhouse every Thursday at 11 a.m. Search for Startup Station in order to join our community and sign up for our social media. If you want to learn more about our framework for modeling early stage startups, there is a free masterclass. The link is in the description on how to build credible financials for your venture. Thank you for listening and I will see you next week.